Hi guys, Karen here from Blissful Beings and Accentuate the Positive Media. I wanted to talk to you today about religion versus spirituality. Why is there versus? Why should there be a versus? Why can't we all get along? Why can't it all be the same? Religion versus spirituality. I've noticed a lot of comments on the YouTube interviews that I've been doing with fascinating inspired minds all spreading their love. Some people have died in order to understand <laughs> that we are love, been hit by cars, trucks, blown up in Iraq. Some people have had amazing experiences with their spirit guides. But, you know, one of the reasons that I do these videos is to put more love into the media, is to put more love out into the world. And I have to say I attract a lot of really beautiful people that have that intent too. There are some amazing people I've spoken to over the last four years on Accentuate the Positive Radio that are doing incredible things. You know, the world is really a miraculous place. And I've noticed some of the comments on the YouTube channels from people with different ideologies, different spiritual beliefs, different religious beliefs, fighting with each other you know, like fighting over who's right and who's wrong. This is such an old paradigm, this who's right and wrong when it comes to spiritual ideology or dogma or beliefs. My philosophy and the philosophy that comes from my guides, Blissful Beings, is live and let live. You know, we live in this diverse world, this diverse planet, which allows people to have their opinion it allows people to believe different things but if we are going to survive as a human race on this planet we have to put those differences behind us and stop fighting with each other about who's right and who's wrong i see that many religious dogma has created a lot of limiting ideas amongst people but it also has created a lot of freedom as well. So it serves. And a lot of spiritual and new age ideology creates a lot of limiting ideas for some and a lot of boundlessness for many. So it serves. It all serves. But if we're going to fight about this, if we're going to judge the other as wrong and abuse each other on Facebook with comments, what's the point of believing in some sort of form of God when you're judging your neighbor, really. I mean, come on. What's the point of being a Christian or a Jew or a Catholic or a, a, a you know, a, a Buddhist or a Hindu or a Muslim? If you're going to judge another who doesn't believe in what you believe in or does, but talks about it differently. I mean, the basis of every religion the basis of every ideology based in spirituality is based on love. Love really has no religion per se, but all of them are based on love. And love says, I allow you to have your opinion. I allow you to believe whatever you want to believe and not judge you, not criticize you because we're given free will. We're loved so much. We are adored so much from our source that that love gives us free will to choose what we want to believe. And so let people believe what they want to believe. You know, I think that you believe in what you believe in because you want to feel good. I think that you've become a Christian or you defend your Christian ideas or your Buddhist ideas or your spiritual ideas or your Jewish ideas or whatever Muslim ideas, I think that you defend because you believe in them because they help you feel better about yourself. But do you feel good about yourself when you're judging another to be wrong? Really? I mean, come on. Feeling good is about being the love that you know you are. And I know you know you're loved and I know you know you're loved. So I think that if we're all going to survive the next few hundred years with the technology that we have and the ideology that we live by, it's a bit of touch and go, really. We need, we need you. We need people like you to spread more love, more love. Spread your love, don't spread your hate. Hate if you want to, keep it to yourself. Doesn't feel good to hate especially it doesn't feel good to hate the people you love. 
forgiveness is really where it's at forgive yourself forgive them forgive others for having different ideas to you I've been criticized for taking down some of the comments but I don't want my page or my channel to be a platform for people's hate or people's judgment or criticism you want to hate you want to judge you want to criticize that's your choice you're given free will to do that ask yourself how does it feel does it feel good to judge another or does it feel better to allow another to be who they want to be and to love them it's really about personal choice if you want to enjoy your life more if you want to feel better if you want to feel good I'd suggest give up the hate give up the hate mail you know doesn't serve you darling doesn't serve anybody doesn't serve the world we are all on this planet together we are all one we all come from that one place that one source and it is love when you feel that you feel that too when you feel the love that you have for yourself or for another or for this planet or for the environment or for your own religious ideology for your own religion when you feel that love you feel who you are try spreading that a bit more if you'd like to know more about me and more about my guides blissful beings and have a reading a personal session go to karenswain.com and have a look at the guidance page or join our mailing list and keep up to date with all the interviews I do I do them on radio so you can listen to them streaming on radio or on soul traveler radio which is a fabulous internet radio station I have a show there twice a week which airs around six times a week and all conscious music all the time it's fabulous it's beautiful you have to check it out and i do it on stitcher and itunes and tune in and mixcloud soundcloud it's on so many platforms and of course on youtube remember to spread your love thanks for watching bye for now and fill this world with bliss i will sing a song of joyful love and merge into your kiss and i will stumble into beauty recognizing that it's me i will open up my heart and surrender unto thee Hope you're having a beautiful day.